My late father was a graphic designer, and among the many things he designed, like product packaging you see at a department store, for example, he also designed album covers, old school style with a paintbrush in hand. Okay, I'm really dating myself because this was obviously before there were home computers to do all this. And I used to watch him paint until the wee hours of the night. So because of this, he had loads of pals in the record industry. And he used to take me to the recording studio from a very young age just to see some of the artists record. And that's definitely where my own dreams of becoming a recording artist started. He was also able to get backstage passes to the concerts that came through the original Montreal Forum. And I was obsessed with going to see the live acts perform, especially the rock groups. There was this one time I went backstage to meet the Canadian hard rock band Triumph after a triumphant concert. And oh my God, I was such a groupie. I actually slipped my bra out from under my top and asked the lead singer, Rick Emmett, to autograph it. I'm wondering if he even remembers that. I mean, come on, that was epic. Okay. I may have to get him on this show one day to ask him. Let me tell you, after that chutzpah, my dad was regretting getting me those backstage passes. There were plenty of incredible rock artists and bands that came out of Canada and hit it globally on the charts. One of them being Rush, who I saw perform three times back in the 80s, and whose track Spirit of the Radio also had a super sonic intro. And then, of course, us very proud Canadians absolutely adore the amazing multi-award winning rocker Brian Adams. So I'm going to follow up Rush with a little Brian Adams for you with Run To You.